Live from the Salt Palace in Salt Lake City, Utah, it's Salt Lake Golden Eagles Hockey. Tonight, the first place team in the East Division, the number one affiliate of the Minnesota Nurse Stars, the Kalamazoo Wings against the Red Hot Salt Lake Golden Eagles. Hi everybody and welcome to Salt Lake Golden Eagles Hockey. I'm Mike Barrack and I'll be handling the play-by-play -play here this evening. In just a moment, Randy Busick will join us, but before we get to Randy, let's go down to ice level with Mike Rungi of the Salt Lake Golden Eagles. Thank you, Mike Barrick. Yes, we are going to have a good time here at the Salt Palace in Salt Lake City. I'm at ice level. This is where the players come off the ice, and we'll grab a player or a coach or maybe a fan or two to tell you all about the exciting action here at the Salt Palace tonight. Now back up to you, Mike Barrick. Thanks, Mike Rungi. Of course, the Golden Eagles, as we mentioned, playing outstanding hockey. They've gone 13-0-1 in their last 14 games. A gentleman that played in the National Hockey League with the Montreal Canadiens. Fourth year with the Salt Lake Golden Eagles. Randy Busick alongside. Randy, welcome tonight. And, of course, a, a big game for the Golden Eagles because they're playing outstanding hockey. Thanks, Mike. They're coming up against a very tough Kalamazoo Wings team. They're uh, first in their division. They're trying to hold on to that spot. But the Eagles are trying to catch a Peoria Riverman. It should be very exciting. Lots of players to watch here tonight. One of those players, the leading point scorer of the Kalamazoo Wings, an outstanding forward, Mitch Messier. Well, uh, Mitch Messier, uh, cousin of uh, famed Edmonton Oiler Mark Messier, has uh, great uh, puck handling skills. He's a real leader for this team off, on and off the ice, and he's a key player to watch. Gentlemen, both uh, familiar to the fans here in Salt Lake. He scored 48 goals here a couple of years ago for the Golden Eagles. Now playing on Kalamazoo, number seven, Peter Lappin. Well, Peter Lappin, he's a tenacious four checker and a relentless worker. He's got good speed and a blazing snapshot. Uh, he's a real spark plug for this Wings club. And a guy uh, for the Salt Lake Golden Eagles who has been outstanding since uh, being sent by, uh, down by the Calgary Flames. He wears number eight, Tim Sweeney. Well, Tim Sweeney, he's got uh, very deceptive speed, but uh, he's fast and he's got a deadly accurate wrist shot. He, he can stick handle out of a shoebox and he's exciting to watch, Mike. And another gentleman uh, for the Salt Lake Golden Eagles just sent down by the Calgary Flames this past weekend, the only Soviet player of the Golden Eagles, Sergei Priyakin. Well, Sergei Priyakin, he's a big lumbering forward, but he's got great ability to read the ice, and uh, his stick handling uh, skills can really uh, change the face of a game around. He can control the, the whole uh, game when he's on the ice. And the Golden Eagles, of course, have been playing outstanding hockey. Randy, 13 of their last 14 games, they've gained victories. And tonight, they face the team with the best road record in the IHL. Well, uh, the Eagles are probably playing their best hockey of the year so far, Mike. But it's just due to a lot of hard work and uh, combined effort for, by everybody. So hopefully, they can continue their winning ways. But they're coming up against a very tough club tonight. And Kalamazoo, as we mentioned, a very good defensive team in their own end. Well, they don't take a lot of penalties, Mike. They, li they like a very fast-paced game. And uh, they've got some good four checkers and uh, a very strong power play. Well, it should be great here tonight. The Golden Eagles and the Kalamazoo Wings will have all the play-by-play -play in just a moment. Gary Evans. And in right wing, wearing number seven, Peter Lappin. Kalamazoo Wings are coached by John Marks. The assistant coach is yep. Kevin yep. Constantine. Terry Wolf, and physical therapist is Dan Fox. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for your Salt Lake Golden Eagles. Starting at goal with 22, Warren Sharple. That's where number five, Rick Musso. At the other end, that's where number six, Carlo Wilson. Say anything? Okay. Okay.
what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. and the Kalamazoo Wings were pleased to bring hockey here on Channel 14 and of course in the Golden Eagles radio network. In gold tonight uh, for the Salt Lake Golden Eagles will be Warren Sharples. Of course, the Golden Eagles, the hottest team in the IHL, going 13-0-1 in their last four, 14 hockey games and have just been outstanding. They're uh, the starting goaltender tonight for the Kalamazoo Wings, Larry Dick, in 28 games, 18-9 with a 3.04 goals against, and that ranks fourth among goaltenders in this league. Warren Sharples for the Salt Lake Golden Eagles. He's been outstanding. He has won his last six decisions, seven and one in his last eight, and a 3.46 goals against average. Eagles in the Kalamazoo Wings. The Eagles in second place in the West Division, 15 games over the 500 mark. Bob Francis, the head coach of the Golden Eagles. Jamie Hislop, the assistant. And Brian Petaffi in his 13th year as a head trainer on the bench. The Golden Eagles look for win number 38. Kalamazoo looking for win number 43. And the Golden Eagles immediately play the puck at their own defense. Rick Lassard on the right side for Darrell Olson. Golden Eagles in the Kalamazoo wing. Just underway here in Salt Lake. And Mark Bureau able to slide a pass up the middle. Mark Bureau after it uh, on the left wing side. But then at the defense, it's Paul Girard for Kalamazoo. On left wing for Sean Chambers. Ahead on the right side for the former Golden Eagle, Peter Lappin in front for Larry DePalma. Shoots and triples. Gets a piece. Rebound in front. Lappin. And blocked off the defense by Darrell Olson for the Golden Eagles. Break three to center. Mark Bureau in across the line. The leading point scorer for the Golden Eagles. Works at the blue line in front for Kevin Grant. But Lappin takes him off the puck. Now Lappin on the right side. Leads a three-man Kalamazoo rush to center for Larry DePalma. In on goal, but he's hacked by Kevin Grant. Takes him off the puck and Bureau plays for the Golden Eagles. And then the Palma takes a tumble to the delight of the hometown fans. And back in his own side is the former Denver Ranger, Bruce Bell, at his own defense. Early on, we played a minute into the first period to score this game. And the Wings clear it right back into the Salt Lake zone. Kevin Grant has to go back. Grant in his second full season. On defense for the Golden Eagles. Able to leave it to free for Tim Sweeney at center ice for Rich Turnamass, but it's broken up at center. Early on, a fast-paced game. Here's the rookie, Jackson Penny, into the Salt Lake zone. But Kevin Grant beats him to it. On the boards, Mitch Messier trying to center one, but Kerry Clark leads it free into the neutral zone. Rich Turnamass into the Kalamazoo end, tries to feed it in front for Sweeney, but blocked off of the defense. Killed by the wings deep into the Salt Lake zone. The wings change up defensively. So do the Golden Eagles. And Rick Lassard able to march to center. Here's the Golden Eagles. The uh, strong defense from Lassard clears it right back into the wing zone. And it is on defense. It is Paul Girard on the right side. Leads it free for J.F. Quintan into the Salt Lake territory. But Rick Lassard wraps him into the corner. And the fans are lighted about that. Big hit by Rick Lassard. And the puck loose into the center ice area. And Brian Beasley on left wing. Passing for Paul Cruz. Shoots him after the flex wide. We played it two minutes into the first period. A lot of good action so far. Score this game and a lot of hitting so far. At the point, Olsen shoots and Larry Dick steers it aside. And Paul Girard able to play to the boards but not out. And finally, Kalamazoo played a center. Non-stop action here in the first period to score this game. On the right side, Todd Harkins and all those shoots and a hand save by Larry Dick. As the action is fast and furious here in the early going. Kevin Grant back checks for Salt Lake, losing to Mario Tyre, trying to center one, but picking off that pass is Darrell Olson of the Golden Eagles leading score among defensemen. 
Into the play at right side for Brian Deasley, but it's offside with 2.40 gone into the opening period. Tonight's referee from Essex, Ontario, Dan O'Halloran, the linesman Rob Larson and Jim Tedesco and Randy Busick, a lot of great action to start this game. Well, not surprising, Mike. Uh, both teams uh, really getting some good scoring opportunities early in this game. Uh, Coach John Marks was very upset uh, with uh, his team's performance uh, last game. Uh, he thought that their work ethic was a little subpar, and uh, he had a good, good talking to with him. Great save by Sharples here. Came out, covered the angle well, but the rebound bounced right out. Uh, Lappin had a great shot and he got some help from Rick Lassard. And uh, now immediately cleared right back in offside with 2.44 gone into the opening period. A scoreless hockey game and Warren Sharples for the Golden Eagles looking for his 14th win of the year and he's won six in a row, Randy, as the Golden Eagles uh, look for win number 38. Well, uh, Bobby Francis has uh, a great problem in deciding which goaltender is a start because Steve Gannett and Warren Sharples are playing great hockey, and uh, either one that goes in that he feels very comfortable with. with. The Eagles have a line of Richard Zemlak, Corey Lyons, and Tim Sweeney. It's Kalamazoo working in the Salt Lake zone. Kevin Melrose is able to poke it away from Peter Lappin. Now Richard Zemlak in across the line. Left wing for the rookie, Corey Lyons, but it's offside at the defense with three minutes gone first period, and of course Randy an offside when the offensive player, in this case Sweeney, ahead of the play across the blue line. Well, uh, no player can exceed the puck before it comes across the blue line uh, unless it's a puck carrier and he has total control. A very close call here. It looked like Zemlak kept one of his legs outside the blue line, but uh, referee Jim Tedesco uh, whistled it down as an offside. And Jim Tedesco, who works for Hercules, uh, 13 years as a linesman in professional hockey, drops the puck as it's cleared right back in. Sean Chambers, who's played sparingly this year with the Minnesota North Stars, coming off a serious knee injury, able to play it up the left wing side. And little Gary Emmons, who had 100 points last year for Kalamazoo, on the wing to Larry the Palm, and the give and go back to the forward uh, on the left wing side, Emmons, but Salt Lake's Grant up the middle for Richard Zemlock. Right side for Rich Tournament. Swivels and across the line, left wing pass, but Emmons able to break it up and big De Palma into the center ice area. Alludes a check, but Chambers comes up into the Salt Lake zone. Gannett's in a shot partially, then shoots circles, gets a pace, and Chernemaz down the right side. One on two into the Kalamazoo end. Chernemaz crosses the blue line, tries to shoot it, and a skate save by Dick and cleared by Kalamazoo in the center. Back in his own defense is Darrell Olson, who was born in Calgary, Alberta. Able to play it on the right side for Martin Samard. Up the middle for Mark Bureau. And across the line. Stops to make a play. Throws it across Samard. To the point. Olsen shoots high and wide. Samard after but it deflects wide of the target. Mark Bureau for the Golden Eagles. Back to the right wing point. Olsen shoots. Deflected in front. And he's good. I think. Oh, let's see. Piakin was right there in front. The red light of God. The Golden Eagles have jumped on top. one nothing. Well, I think uh, Sergei Piakin is going to be credited with that goal, Mike. Uh, great play by Martin Samard across a lot of traffic in front of the net. Uh, Darrell Olsen just whips a shot at net, but look at Samard in front there, causing a lot of problems. It bounces off the post, but Priak is right there to knock in the rebound. 4.09 the time of the goal, and Sergei Priak the only Soviet player ever to play in the National Hockey League playoffs. It should say the first Soviet to play in the NHL playoffs, and he scores for Solit. Well, he's uh, been a, uh, a great acquirement uh, for this Eagles team. He's a great asset, and he really controls the game when he's out there. Mark Bureau and Darrell Olsen on the assists that Priyanka scores the goal, his third for the Golden Eagles at 4.09. Here are the wings trying to work it free, but Salt Lake Samar back checks and leads it free for Bureau into the neutral zone. Mark Bureau with Sergei Priyankin and Martin Samar. Priyankin trying to move in, but it's a broken up for the defense, and Kevin Melrose for Salt Lake he shoots it free into the defense. A one nothing Eagles lead, and we'll be right back in just a moment. Back to action here in Salt Lake City, the Golden Eagles with an early 1-0 lead. Over the top farm team, the Minnesota North Stars, the Kalamazoo Wings. And back of his goal is Darrell Olson for Salt Lake. Able to work out of there, poked away, and finally Curry Clark able to play it for Chernemaz in the center. Rich Chernemaz for the Golden Eagles with the Curry Clark, the pass in front of the goal. He scores! Tim Sweeney able to flick it home on a great 
great setup in front of the Golden Eagles have an early 2-0 lead. Boy, great pass there by Rich Chernemass. Found his open winger on the far side. He spots Sweeney, who uh, uh, managed to fight off his check and slide it by Dick. Great shot by Sweeney. 5.15, the time of the goal, and Tim Sweeney for the Salt Lake Golden Eagles on fire for Salt Lake. 21 points in 16 games. Boy, we talked about uh, his speed before earlier in the game, Mike, but he was able to get behind the defender and catch that pass and, and really surprised Dick with a quick snapshot low to the blocker side. And the Golden Eagles have jumped on top. Two goals in 5.15. The Golden Eagles have been scoring goals of late. They have scored 74 in their last 14 and have an early 2-0 lead here as the wings clear it up to the near side of stoppage of play and this has to hurt the Kalamazoo wings they lost 7-3 here Tuesday night and the Golden Eagles early on had the crowd on their side and an early two zip advantage. Well I'm sure this isn't sitting very well with coach John Marks he uh, talked about them before and he wanted to come out and get an early start and a fast paced uh, game going here but uh, his team had a, good, a couple of good chances at the beginning but Sharples uh, hang in, uh, uh, stood in there and uh, got a couple of breaks but the Eagles are the ones that are scoring the goals right now. Here's the line that's been together for most of the season for the Golden Eagles. Todd Harkins with Brian Deasley and Paul Cruz as the puck deflected up into the crowd. And that's always fun. A puck at a hockey game and he's getting the glad hands from his friend down there. Well, that's a, a nice souvenir for someone to have in the game as long as it's flipped over the boards like that one was. And doesn't. It's not a ripping slap shot that goes over the glass. So sting the hands a little bit when you try and catch those ones. Well, we're pretty safe up here. Harkins to drop for the Golden Eagles. A rookie who was born in Cleveland, Ohio. Drops it to the Right wing sided, Marco Siki, another Golden Eagles rookie, able to play it back of the goal, and Larry De Palma on left wing, unable to control Salt Lake's the Deasley plays to the left of the net. Tries to work it for Harkins, but cleared by Chambers on left wing, and Kalamazoo's De Palma in his center. Hacked by Paul Cruz, and De Palma able to set up for Gary Emmons and across the line, and they squad a shot, but they score. Quick scoring play for Gary Emmons, and right back, the Wings cut the lead to 2-1. To well, uh, the Wings got a little bit of a bounce there, Mike. Uh, Rick Lassard had the puck and tried to clear the zone, but when he threw it back, he threw it right onto uh, Emmons' stick. Emmons got the puck and uh, surprised Sharples a little bit. He let a, a low whipper go and caught him between the pads. Gary Emmons, who had 100 points last year for Kalamazoo, not having as strong a season this year, is 18th of the year, and the lead has been cut to 2-1 to one after the Golden Eagles uh, started very strongly here in the first period. All of a sudden, uh, the Wings have sliced the lead in half. Kevin Grant on right wing for Richard Zemlack and across the line. Tim Sweeney trying to make a play, but the Wings take over into the center ice area, and uh, Steve Gattis for Kalamazoo. Caught up by Kevin Grant. It's blocked off the defense, and Grant able to whip it right back of the goal, and the Wings take over. Here's Dwayne Joyce uh, on left wing, trying to play at the center ice and succeeds. And the product of Harvard, uh, Kevin Melrose able to play at the center and deep into the Wings territory. And Dan Granton has to go back. A former first round pick for the Los Angeles Kings in 1985. It's clear to center. And Kevin Melrose, the Eagles rookie, pops it right back in. It is 2-1 in favor of the Golden Eagles. And back in his own side is Daryl Olson for Salt Lake. Swivels to center ice, tries to pass it free on left wing for Rick Lassard, and he smashes it right back into Wings territory. Mark Bureau after for Kalamazoo. Clear the puck deep into the Salt Lake zone. Hustling back after Rick Lassard. The is the call with 6.55 gone first period. 2-1 Salt Lake. Golden Eagle is in the lead, and we'll be right back in just a moment. Um, <coughs> that, that's all right. Yeah, you just got the b back end of it there. Yeah. Sis. Here's a pen. When they, when they announce who scored the goal and the assist, write it down and hand it to me, okay? Because we can't hear the announcement. Yeah. We're back to action here in Salt Lake, the Golden Eagles leading Kalamazoo two to one. Glad you've joined us here tonight as it's cleared by the wings deep into the Salt Lake territory, racing back after Daryl Olson and as he touches it, icing is the call. The faceoff will come all the way back. Of course, icing when the team in the defensive zone from their side of center clears it all the way down. Faceoff will be deep in the wings territory. Well, just one of the rules. Uh, uh, there's a lot of addendums to that uh, ruling, though, Mike. Uh, it could be waved off uh, due to the fact that uh, the defenseman didn't try hard enough to get the puck, or uh, it deflected off of uh, someone's stick on its way down. So, uh, kind of hard to follow at times, but. Uh, 
pretty basic, uh, it just fr uh, from the center ice over, if it's shot down all the way to the ice and the defenseman goes back and touches it, it'll be whistled down. Jim Tedesco, 13 years as a linesman. Very good uh, linesman here in Salt Lake. Rob Larson is his partner here this evening. Eagles trying to work it free, but Kalamazoo wind it to into the corner. And the big top, Enrico Ciccone, able to play it free, but not out. Eagles, Priyakin tries to jam it into the corner. And Kalamazoo's Ciccone able to play it high in the air in the center. Golden Eagles with a 2-1 lead. And a very entertaining first period. Paul Girard, the captain for the Wings, able to play it for Mario Tyre in the center ice. But the Golden Eagles leading point score, Mark Bureau, left wing for Martin Samar. Drops in front, Priyakin shoots it wide. And he doesn't miss too often as he's set up in front. Mark Bureau takes a tumble to the left of the goal. They try and work it free. Dan O'Halloran, the referee, says, keep it going, guys. They still try and jam up on the boards. Bureau with the Wings player on the near side, J.F. Quintin. And finally, it's Wayne Joyce rims it, but not out. Melrose holds it in. Hands it to the top of the circle for Priak, and now being hacked to free. Falls down, and the Wings take over on right wing, and Courtney plays the center, but Melrose able to wind it on right wing for Martin Samart. Into the wing zone. Martin Samard throws it to Priyaka, but the goaltender falls on top. Larry Dick and holds on with 11.35 to go. First period, Eagles with a 2-1 to one advantage. Well, Dan O'Halloran, he's a type of referee that really likes to let the play go on. He doesn't want to blow a lot of whistles and slow the momentum of the game down. Uh, and we saw last game, it took him until eight minutes left in the game before he whistled down his first penalty, which is very uncharacteristic. And so far, with almost nine minutes gone tonight, he's let everything go, too. He's letting boys play hockey. Bob Francis uh, for the Salt Lake Golden Eagles in his second full year behind the bench. Uh, fabulous player for the Golden Eagles. Uh, of course, he led the team to the Turner Cup in 1986-87 in his last year as a professional player. Mark Osiki at the right point, turns, waves it, and a stick save Larry Dick. Osiki still looks for his first professional goal. He thought he had one Tuesday night. There is Paul Girard for Kalamazoo on the left side for Sean Chambers. Right side for Girard as he plays to center and Kerry Clark, able to work it free to center and Clark for Salt Lake, fighting off with Larry De Palma. And uh, Kerry Clark, his older brother Wendell, plays for the Toronto Maple Leafs, plays it in. And Chambers on the board takes a hit from a couple of Eagle players. Here's De Palma, able to play it but not out. Melrose able to hold it in. With Turnamaz, Melrose to the side of the goal and on net, but it's blocked off. Now Salt Lake trying to work it free. Sweeney punches it into the corner. Turnamaz fights with Girard. It's centered. Loose in front, but the deflected wide. In the Kalamazoo zone. And Kerry Clark just trying to make a play in front. But it's cleared by the wings on the right side at Lappin. Outlets to center ice. And the Golden Eagles, Osiki, plays for Melrose, tips it right into the Salt Lake players bench. With 10.38 to go, first period. Sergey Priyakin and Tim Sweeney, Salt Lake goals. Gary Emmons for Kalamazoo here in the first period. Boy, we've seen a lot of great action so far in this first period, Mike. The Eagles are really starting to lay the body on, and I think that's going to be a big key for them in this game. Uh, the Wings aren't really a physical team, and they'd rather skate, and uh, they have to be slowing down, and, and that's the only way to do it is to, to pressure their defense and bang them up against the boards. Rob Larson, the linesman, drops the puck. It's clear to center, and Kalamazoo's Bruce Bell has to go back. 26 years of age, former Quebec Nordic, able to play it but not out. Finally, it does support the center as the Olsen leaves it for Kevin Grant. A solid defenseman, Grant on right wing, shoots it up into the stands and a stop in the play with 10.23 left in the first period. Of course, the Kalamazoo Wings, the top farm team for the Minnesota North Stars as Kevin Grant skates to the Salt Lake defensive side, a very solid defenseman. The Wings, as we mentioned, 17th this season as a team in the IHL. 16 straight years they've made the playoffs. The only time they did not make the playoffs was their very first season. And for the last three and a half seasons, the top farm team of the Minnesota North Stars. Boy, they always managed to put a, a good team together from start to finish. And, and this year is absolutely no exception to that rule, Mike. They, of course, uh, in their green road uniforms. Uh, it's the team for the affiliate team for the Minnesota North Stars. Golden Eagles play the park as Mark Bureau able to well with for a former Minnesota North Star farmhand, Richard Zimlin. The second stint with the Golden Eagles. Throws it across the field, shoots and Dick gets a piece of that. Then on right wing, it's cleared by Dwayne Joyce all the way deep into the Salt Lake zone. Warren Shuffles, the rookie out of the University of Michigan, able to play the puck on the left wing side. Corey Lyons losing in front, a quick shot right on. Ice Steve Goddess in a six save. Sharples and cleared by Salt Lake again. Up into the stands as the pucks are flying. 
here at the Swamp Palace here tonight with 9.49 left in the first a 2-1 advantage in favor of the Salt Lake Golden Eagles. Golden Eagles, Brian Deasley, another product of the University of Michigan. Last year he had 16 goals for Salt Lake, and this season has 22, so his career high for Salt Lake. Well, he's a, he's a youngster, but a very good prospect here uh, for the Calgary Flames. He was a high draft pick, and uh, they're looking for him to somewhere down the road. Glad you've joined us here tonight as the Golden Eagles look for win number 38 in their 22nd home win. There's the puck uh, cleared into the uh, center ice there, and the the forward Courtney able to wind it right back in and it is own defense it's Rick Lassard on the near side for Todd Harkins into the Kalamazoo end nice to work it free but uh, the whole play is whistled on offside with 9.28 left in the first period a 2-1 Salt Lake lead and the play has slowed down a little bit here tonight at the Salt Palace Todd Harkins the native of Cleveland Ohio as uh, the face off will come outside the blue line of course Hockey's been played here in Salt Lake City since 1969-70. The team was in the Western Hockey League. They played in the Central League and joined the IHL in 1984-85, and that's where they've been ever since. Here is the Golden Eagle forward, Brian Deasley, tries to punch it clean to the corner, The JFP 10 for Kalamazoo, able to play at the center. It is a 2-1 Salt Lake lead. Midway through the first period as Todd Harkins able to bang it right back into the wing zone. Larry Dick sets it up for his own defense and Chambers on right wing. However, the pass goes off the skate of the referee, Dan O'Halloran. The puck is loose into the corner. Eagles trying to work it free and finally it's punched up the right side with Mario Tyre able to play at the center. Salt Lake's Marco Siki turns and whips it right back in. And the wings have possession back of the net. Here is Sean Chambers uh, for Kalamazoo. He played briefly a couple of years ago in Fort Wayne. On the right side for Enrico Ciccone. And he backhands to center ice as uh, the forward Courtney pops it high in the air to the Salt Lake zone. Warren Trapp just catches it and easily sets it up for the defenseman Kevin Grant at center. However, Dan Gratton breaks it up and plays to center. As right now a lot of action from blue line to blue line. Here is the puck loose in the slot for Kalamazoo. Save made by Sharp loses. It was Emmons that got a feet. Now the puck is loose into the corner. Lapping after, shoots in a pass save. Sharp with big rebound. Grant at the point. His shot to deflected wide. And finally, Samard along the far boards controls for the Golden Eagles. Here's Martin Samard in his fourth year for Salt Lake. On right wing for Mark Bureau. Stick handles into the wings territory. Rolls at the blue line. Gets away from Emmons. In on that stick handle. Shoots it just wide. Boy, a couple of art moves by the Eagles leading point scorer Mark Biro. Now Gary Emmons in the center ice uh, for Kalamazoo. Emmons turns, shoots it wide and it deflects right back behind the goal where Olsen plays it for Rick Lassard. Rick Lassard an NHL All-Star a couple of years ago and able to clear the zone but covering up is Darrell Olsen back with his net. Golden Eagles with a 2-1 to one lead. Seven and a half minutes left in the first period. Sergei Priyakin for Mark Biro at the top of the circle. Tries to throw it across to the left wing point Mark Osiki shoots it right back behind the goal, and Gerard able to play it, but not out. Eagles Osiki holds it in, and for Priyakin. Along the boards for Bureau, cuts in the middle, can't pull the trigger, and cleared by the wings, but not out. Osiki holds it in, gingerly throws a pass in front, but it's picked off on left wing, and the wings take over. Jackson Penny for Kalamazoo. Hit by Rick Lassard and then third on the right side and Dick Carey Clark for Salt Lake. In across the line but can't squeeze past the defense and the wings take over. Well, uh, good end to end action here, Mike. Uh, the goaltenders have been tested but they've been sharp. Here are the Eagles taking control and Kevin Melrose able to play it for the Golden Eagle. Right side for Rich Turnamaz. Ed Courtney steals it for Kalamazoo. Throws it to the top of the circle. Now in front, J.F. Quintana, but it's blocked off of the defense. And Rich Turnamaz able to play it on left wing. Here's Kerry Clark for Salt Lake. He played his junior hockey for the Saskatoon Blades of the Western Hockey League. Back at his own defense is Dwayne Joyce but for Kalamazoo. We have ourselves a two to one game. The three goals tonight scored in the first six minutes. Here's Ed Courtney, a lead pass to Mario Tire. Shoots it in front, but it's blocked off. And Turnamaz for the Golden Eagles. Able to elude it, Jack and play to center. Easily after, they fight for it ferociously in the center ice. The lead pass to Edward Deasley off the mark. Chipped on the boards by Kalamazoo. And Rico Ciccone knocks down Deasley.